Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's tutorial video, we'll be looking on drugs and how they affect our genetic material. So genetic material are in the form of DNA and RNA. So DNA can store these genetic material as well as transmitting them. All right, so the first drug that we're going to look on that affects DNA is your six Meracaptopurine, right? So this drug is used as an anti-tumor drug where it can be used to treat cancer and as an immunosuppressant for autoimmune diseases. Now it is used to treat leukemia, right? Which is cancer of the blood and bowel diseases as well. When we're given this drugs, it just drug, sorry, it's given with allopurinol. And as we've seen before, allopurinol inhibits xanthine oxidase. Now, this xanthine oxidase can inhibit our 6 meracaptopurine. So, we give this drug with allopurinol to prevent its breakdown. All right, so how this 6 meracaptopurine works is that it inhibits RNA and DNA function by inhibiting glutamine. PRP amidotransferase enzyme. All right, so it should be noted that this drug can also inhibit IMP dehydrogenase and adenyl succinate synthase, which are two important enzymes in the synthesis of purines. So the next drug that we're going to look on is our 5 fluorouracil Now, as the name suggests, uracil, it's a uracil analog which means that it mimics the structure of this DNA base. Now it inhibits RNA maturation and it inhibits the formation of our mRNA. Now mRNA, as we know, plays an important function in protein synthesis. All right, 5-fluorouracil -flu affects an enzyme that is called thymidylate synthase. And because of this, there can be no production of DTMPs and therefore there is cell death. All right, so let's move on to the next drug. All right, so this drug is called cytosine arabinoside, right? And once this drug enters the body, it is converted to a triphosphate. Now, this drug is important in chemotherapy as it is used to treat cancers such as acute leukemia. Now, once this drug enters our body, it incorporates with our DNA and it affects our DNA synthesis. And it does this by inhibiting DNA and RNA polymerase. This drug can also affect nucleotide formation by affecting or inhibiting the nucleotide reductase enzyme. Now, let's move on to a very important drug. Now, this drug is called methotrexate and this drug inhibits DNA, RNA, thymidylates and protein. How it does this is by inhibiting dihydrofolate. Now dihydrofolate is needed for the synthesis of foliates and also in the synthesis of DTMPs which are needed for DNA synthesis. This drug is cytotoxic in that it can inhibit the rapid division of cells. It is therefore used as an anti-cancer drug, right? But is also used for treatment of autoimmune diseases. All right, so because it also affects the synthesis of folates and folate is important in pregnancy, it can cause miscarriages. All right, so this next drug is called hydroxyurea. And it's also an inhibitor of DNA. And how it does this is by inhibiting ribonucleotide reductase, which is used in the formation of deoxynucleotide. So it's used to treat sickle cell, especially people in pain, and also HIV. The last two drugs, we're just going to look on them briefly. The first one is acyclovir. Now, this incorporates itself into the viral DNA, and it causes their chains to terminate. It also inhibits DNA polymerase, and it is important in the treatment of herpes. 
So the last drug that we will look on today is AZT. And as the name suggests, this drug is an analog of thymidine, right? So it mimics this structure. It is important because it inhibits reverse transcriptase. As we know, this is an enzyme that is utilized by the HIV virus. So by inhibiting this enzyme, it is also a treatment for HIV. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.